I honestly don't know where to start, um... Yeah. Okay, why the heck are we even here? Well, the reason why we're all here is because of me. Or should I say, because of we do right over there. Okay, this is ridiculous, Sega. No one is gonna take a YouTuber's word this seriously over an episode of ours. Alright, my name is my face. And I would like to know what you are accusing my client for. Well, if I'm gonna explain myself on why these guys should be guilty for making this episode, I'm gonna have to talk about the episode. So this is Sonic Boom, episode, um... 17, Don't Judge Me. And no one's judging you. That's the name of the episode, dumbass! So the episode starts off with a subtle atmosphere with great build-up and... Mothbot is no match for my Swatapult! Yeah, so Sonic and his friends are going after Dr. Eggman and his Mothbot, and I gotta say, out of all the bots that Eggman has invented, this has gotta be the best idea for a bot ever. I mean, seriously, with like the Octopus bot, to the Obliterated bot, to the Mega bot, to even the bot that he made back in Rise of Lyric, this Mothbot has gotta seriously be the best bot that he's ever invented. And yeah, when I was watching this opening, yeah, Sonic and his friends are fighting against Dr. Eggman, but have you noticed that Amy was not even in this opening? She does appear in the episode later on, but yeah, there is a reason why she's not in this opening, as we will find out later on. And yeah, there's a lot of comedy, like with Knuckles coming in with an ultimate moth distraction. Hey, look at me! I'm having an idea! Well, that was probably Sonic's idea, Knuckles, so don't give yourself credit. And yeah, it's kind of funny, when Styx accidentally guides Knuckles in the wrong direction, he knocks himself out and then Styx suggests... Oh well, he's under the moth's mind control now. We have no choice but to destroy him. Jesus Christ, I mean seriously? One of the Sonic characters is like, huh, maybe we should actually kill him. I mean, wow. And yeah, unlike the previous bots that Dr. Eggman has invented, it seems like this one doesn't have an Eggmobile attached to it, so... He has to have Orbot and Cubot get him out, and he tries to pretend to be injured, and we'll find out why he's pretending to be injured as seen later on. And yeah, so Tails and Sonic have a sandwich that is, well, definitely longer than the footlong sandwich, which is only 11 inches. I mean, look at the measurements, guys. And yeah, in a comedic way, Sonic insists, you know, someone else to try out the sandwich, and that person comes with a letter from Dr. Eggman showing that Dr. Eggman is suing you. And so when Sonic thinks that no one's going to take this seriously, what do you know? Soar the Eagle, who was the motivation coach back in episode 15, Aim Low, turns out to be a news reporter in this episode. Wow, what a career jump. And yeah, it seems like he's going to be taking this seriously. So, let's see if we can get a statement from the defendant. The only thing I'm guilty of is being awesome. You heard it. Sonic says he's guilty of being awesome. Hey, who's the news reporter here? So, of course, Sonic hires Knuckles as his lawyer. Oh, man, this is going to be an awesome episode, I can tell for sure. Objection! This all seems pointless. Just hold on. It turns out that Dr. Eggman has T.W. Barker as his lawyer, and the judge is a bot created by Dr. Eggman. Judge Bot. Let all who come before me know that I have been programmed to be fair and impartial, and to in no way favor Dr. Eggman, the great man who created me. Um. Hmm. You know, you might look like a bot that Sonic and Tails may have gone up against. Ah, no, 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 you were destroyed. You were a completely different robot with a completely different personality. And yeah, when the whole thing starts, T.W. Barker definitely knows how to do his lawyer job, even though he went from, like, you know, a circus person to a lawyer. I mean, that's another huge career leap. And yeah, he talks to Orbot, and Orbot shows a film that, um, Cubot, him, and of course Dr. Eggman make, which is a silent film of showing Dr. Eggman as being nice, and yeah, of course it's fake evidence, and even Cubot acknowledges it hilariously. 
And then he also interrogates Styx, who, of course, you know, Styx overreacts and all that. And then you got Tails, who, of course, gets the reverse psychology. And, yeah, speaking of reverse psychology, doesn't something in the background look familiar? Oh, my God, it's the Go-Go Buys. Okay, I'm out of here. Goodbye. So when the time comes for Knuckles to do his lawyer job, of course, he is pretty idiotic for the most part, but surprisingly, he actually does a pretty decent job at it in the most stupidest way as possible. And yeah, the interesting thing about this episode is that the majority of the scenes is within the courtroom. Now, this is something where, like, guilt tripping, it could actually get pretty repetitive, but they really find comedic possibilities and all that in any ways that they can, where T.W. Barker is interviewing Tail Sticks and Orbot, and of course when Knuckles is doing his lawyering, not knowing what the heck he's doing, and yet surprisingly doing a good job. And of course there's the subtle touches with Knuckles, you know, being comedic and even pulling socks out of his throat. Wait. Oh, I was wondering where that was. Come on, Rule 34 is ruining the Sonic characters enough. I don't think we need this to ruin the Sonic characters. And yeah, after a bunch of comedic antics that take place and all that, the jury, who only consists of four members, they say that they need to think of a verdict to give Sonic on whether if he's guilty or not guilty, so they go into the other room while everybody's partying in the main room while the jury's in the main room for some freaking reason. And so when they come back, um, they're stuttering on saying not guilty because, hey, no one's going to take this seriously, but hey, when you have a judge that is created by Dr. Eggman, I think you would actually be a little... yeah. And yeah, there is like um, a last minute action scene that does take place, and it does take place at the appropriate time, and for Amy to make an appearance at the end. So yeah, as a whole, this episode, um, before I give my final verdict or what I thought of this episode, this episode definitely does have a lot of really comedic moments. Like, for the most part, this does seem like a contrived idea and all that, with the Sonic characters in a courtroom and all that, and comedic stuff takes place, and a lot of the jokes that take place are really goddamn childish, but surprisingly, they are actually pretty funny. When Knuckles is trying to be a lawyer, it's really funny because it starts off where Sonic is like, you know what, no one's going to take this seriously. But when people are starting to take it seriously, like even Comedy Chimp in one scene starts to take it seriously where he has... Sonic? Oh. We'll be right back! Unless Sonic puts me in the hospital! <laughs> you, sir, are fearless in your comedy! hey -o! Such a weird scene, but uh, we'll just go for it anyway. And yeah, a lot of the stuff with finding out if Sonic is guilty or not, and of course, you know, Dr. A-Man being himself, and Sonic trying to say, I can wail on him, but at the same time, he has to make himself not look like a violent person, or otherwise, he's going to get the guilty verdict. And yeah, for the fact that Judge Bod says he's going to be fair, but in reality, he's going to try to make Dr. Eggman win, does raise the stakes to actually make Sonic realize how serious the situation actually is, and that Dr. Eggman could possibly land him in jail. So yeah, as a whole, the episode, in my opinion, was... And get ready for me to say this, guys, because this is why I'm suing you. Pretty good. What? Yep, so my final verdict for this episode will be an 8 out of 10. Now you're probably wondering why the heck I'm suing these guys? Well, I am suing you guys for being awesome! That's right, you heard me. This episode is pretty good. There's a lot of great touches here, a lot of great comedic moments, and a lot of great stuff that really does build up the Sonic Boom universe, and it's really great. So. There we go, guys. So that's the reason why I'm suing your guys' ass. So are you ready to give me the money now? I knew I should have sued Subway.